Hi guys, welcome back to the shop and today we're going to talk about something very important when using an air compressor with air tools, especially with paint is <clears throat> some kind of way of removing the moisture from the air uh, if they, they make air separators from $30 on up you can get air dryers and all kind of high dollar stuff if you want to do a show quality paint job at home you really need to get a high dollar high quality water removal system I've noticed you know I've been using it without a uh, air, air water separator and I'm starting to notice moisture coming out of my air on my air tools so I went down to Home Depot and uh, I just picked up one of these little husky uh, separators. Now this is not adequate for painting, but it will help keep a lot of the moisture out. For painting, I use a uh, little disposable filter at the gun. I can buy one. It's basically this type here. These are uh, good they just don't you know you, they don't last that long made in America so to get I'd say 75% uh, maybe of the water out of the air system first you need to drain your tank regularly and if you're like me you didn't think ahead and go ahead and run a drain pipe where you could easily access it you gotta, I gotta crawl under uh, on my knees, lay down in the floor to get to that damn drain. I don't know why they don't go ahead and pipe a drain system for this thing, but they didn't. So we're we're stuck with what we got. So the way I've got it set up now, I just got a quick connect run straight to the shut off. The shut off's closed. I'm gonna break the connection right here between this first fitting and the shut off valve. And we're going to run a little uh, four inch stub out, make a 90, and tie that into it. So, to do that, I believe it was a one inch. I think this, I think this was pretty close to a one inch. <clears throat> this is a 13 16, which I didn't have. I'm hoping this uh, little adjustable is not going to be big enough. I've got to get a bigger adjustable. So let me go find one of those. Alright, so take two on that. But, uh, well, we've got us a thing there. And we got some big adjustable. All right, guys, so as usual, I had to go to town and get the fittings because I didn't have the right fittings and I decided to go all brass instead of using uh, galvanized. Just, to me, it just makes more sense to use brass on uh, air even though it's a lot more expensive. <clears throat> I got, uh, what I did, I got a half inch to a three eighths, male to male. I'm sorry, a half inch to a half inch hex coupling, or not, I don't know if you call it coupling, but it's called a uh, nipple. And then we're going to go to a half to a three eighths 90, and then three eighths will tie into that. So, first thing we got to do is get some tape. And I don't see my more tape. There it is. I just use thread seal, Teflon. Off a good bit. 
this brass locks a good bit of tape. And you always want to put it on the way the fitting will, will tighten up. So I hold the fitting towards me and then I put the tape on clockwise. And I also picked up a uh, wrench. I want to put it. A three, 13 16 wrench. That ain't the one. Let's see if seven eighths do it. Seven eighths. Now this is a inch here. Then we're going to go to our 90. So again, we'll throw our tape on here. also an inch. Ninety. As far as long as possible. <clears throat> then we got another three eighths hex nipple. I'm hoping y'all can see. Zoom in just a little bit. Kind of got y'all zoomed in right here, but so it's just a 3 8 hex nipple. One reason I like using brass is unlike galvanized or black pipe, you don't have to have pipe wrenches. I don't like pipe wrenches if I can help it. Although these fittings add up, it was uh. Twenty-something dollars for these few little fittings I got. And this is the way it is. What size that is? Probably sixteenths. quality parts you know, I'd rather pay three or four dollars for this than buy a cheap one for a dollar and the damn thing breaks installment I've had that happen I try to stay away from them cheap Chinese fittings that like Home Depot sells because they are very thin wall this has come from Ace Hardware so even though it was more expensive, I'm sure it's a lot better quality. And I'm not advertising for nobody, it's just the closest place to get these parts. Home Depot is across town. There's another plumbing supply place between 
where I live in Home Depot, but it's further away than the Ace Hardware, even though the Ace is a lot more expensive. And now we've got to take this bowl off. We'll have some room to maneuver. The arrows point towards the outlet. So the outlet's this side. So it's the airflow. I've got a big enough one for that, so I'll find my adjustable. There it is. Y'all seeing anything? Not much. This is aluminum, so we have to be real careful with it. We want this to be as close to straight up and down as possible. didn't use the better off you're gonna be I was gonna mount it over here on the wall the reason I bought some galvanized pipe but uh, I think temporarily this is gonna be good we'll use another 3 8 uh, nipple Our adapter. So I got a uh, 3 8 to uh, 3 8 female to quarter inch male. And I couldn't find a, uh, a uh, female to female adapter. quarters. I 
with that 13 sixteenths. Bought a brand new 13 sixteenths gear wrench while I was in there. Tape here. There's probably a lot more tape than we really need to seal this thing. I just tend to pull off so much. Now this is the same size. I'm gonna have to hold this one with my crescent wrench, adjustable, 13 sixteenths. That's a good thing. Now you can, just as you can see, this thing's already fogging up. Get this thing a little more, looking a little more straight. And there she be, guys. Suppose we just come down from the shut off with a nipple to a 90. We adapted from 12, from a half to a 3 eighths. Another 3 inch nipple into the uh, water separator. 3 inch nipple coming out to another adapter step it down to a quarter and our quick connect which is a quarter so and now every now and then we'll cut it off we'll open up this drain drain it out and hopefully we'll keep a lot of the water out of our airline even though that's really where it's at it's really not the best place but it'll work i wished it was over on the wall but for now it's good enough for me so until next time guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video please rate comment and subscribe if you haven't